We're the three best friends that anyone can have. Hello and welcome to episode two of the Huracan, a 300-ish mile bikepacking event in Central Florida. On the first day, I made a lot of new friends and learned very quickly that even though there's no mountains here, the pedaling isn't necessarily easy. In this episode, we head into Green Swamp and I get acquainted with the famous Sugar Sand. We get a little dirty and go off course to check out the murder cabin. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. So we've been packing up in the dark over here. Brett, how you feeling, buddy? Bucks, man. A million bucks. Nice and cool, but not cold. Yeah, it's a much warmer morning. There's cloud cover. They're calling for rain. We'll see what happens. Brett says that you never know in Florida, right? I, you could get a 10 minute thunderstorm and a day of showers. You could get nothing at all. Uh, you could just get clouds all day. You could get a little mist all day. There are people on bikes all over the place. Last night, I couldn't really tell how many of us there were. And we're mixed in with probably 40 hikers as well. So this has become a tent city. <laughs> Thank you hikers for letting us crash your campsite. You're so awesome. It was great. Yeah. Have an awesome final day of your trip. And a cozy bed tonight. <laughs> so the red stuff is bad news. That is bad news. Yeah. That's around, that's around 11 a.m. Should be out of here at like 1231. Should be out of here. Good. Okay. <laughs> Thank right, you. Awesome. Oh, there he is. On the 36 inch wheels. Have a good one, bud. Thank you, amazing fire, for keeping us warm all night. Carlos, I can't thank you enough for setting all this up for us. Oh man, it was a team effort. 100%. Team effort. Team effort. Uh, my new best friends helped out with it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The hikers are rad. The hikers are awesome. Yeah. It was good to break bread with the hikers. Definitely. It was such a good time. It was an amazing camp. I have no idea how many people are here, but a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people. Right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new team member today. His name's Walt. Good morning. Good morning. And he's from Alabama. Alabama. He's, he's got one of those cool southern accents. I hope so. You do. Sometimes it's not so cool. <laughs> I think it's cool. <laughs> All right, you ready to have some fun today? We are. We are. And we Brett, are. how about you, bud? Dude, I'm stoked. Let's roll. We're stoked. We might get a little wet today, but that's all right. Florida wet. Never know. All right, bike. You ready? You ready? We're ready. That way. See you, Carlos. Woo! -hoo! Woo! Let's go, team. Let's go, man. <laughs> We're going to the green swamp. I'm excited. We don't have swamps in Colorado, especially not swamps with alligators <laughs> no crashies no flatties no whammies walt knows it they know my dumb chant down in alabama <laughs> you know what to do walt I know what to do. you know what to do here we go ole 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 This is pretty funny. Steep slope. That's about as steep as it gets here in Florida. <laughs> I have been enjoying, you know, the flatness of everything. But because of that, you have to pedal all the time. There is no coasting in Florida, really. You know, like in the Rocky Mountains, you go up, 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 and you can coast down for 10 miles or so. Not here. It's a different kind of riding. It keeps you in your rhythm, just constantly pedaling. Hmm, I wonder where all the bike packers are. Look at all these bikes. I feel like I'm at Ragbri. Check this out, a Circle K hash brown. Looks exactly like the hash browns at McDonald's. I think they get them from the same truck and just heat them up, but it's pretty good, I'm psyched. Brett, what'd you get? A burrito! Oh yeah, that's a pretty solid breakfast. It's all right. Nice. Rice is a little underdone, but I mean, hey. So you look very color coordinated. What's uh, what's all this about? Uh, this is WEC. 
This is Wednesday evening cycling. We're just a group of friends that get out and ride uh, bikes at night through the Surrey Hills in southwest London area. So I'm an expat living in the UK and I brought a couple of my friends over with me to do the Huracan. <laughs> he joined us and we said, oh, okay, you got to come and do uh, some real hills rather than uh, the silly hills we got in, uh, in Surrey. So <laughs> Have you ever done anything like this? First ever bike packing at all. And I tell you, we've learned a lot. Don't bring extra 20 kilos of stuff to carry because it's just not worth it. <laughs> it is painful. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about the single track and all that fun it's, stuff? Uh, it's fantastic, actually. Uh, it's really good compared to what we've got in the Surrey. It just goes, because it just goes on. Everything got in the UK is about 1, 2K maybe, not, not 60K. <laughs> yeah, right on. And somebody said Florida was flat. They were lying. Yes. And also, they said it was warm. There was frost on my tent this morning, or yesterday morning. It's all live. It's all, um, it's all rubbish. It's, it's a cold, wet, hilly place. You've got to ask him what that is. Yeah, what is that skid mark? Yeah. Uh oh, I can kind of imagine. Yeah. Uh, one prong, are these all your prong, nicknames? Yeah, yeah. And I'm Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, all right, good. Yeah. And so, have you ever done anything like this? He took me on a little 200 mile one in, in around England called. Um, King West, Alfred's uh, Way. West King Alfred's Way, yeah. yeah. That was quite nice, but nah, yeah. never. didn't carry a tent, got a credit card, and stayed in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I can recommend that. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. Let's go get wet, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Woo, right into the rain. Say goodbye to the pavement. Time to head into the swamp. Looks spooky in here this morning. All gray and moody. So Brett, you've done this before. What are we in for? The train's gonna change constantly. You'll go through about two dozen different biomes and ecosystems. There'll be sand, floods, rocks, a little bit of everything. Cool. This is my favorite spot. So we're looking at about 60 miles of this? About 60 miles of this. 60 miles! And uh, no services. No civilization, no nothing. I love it. Just alligators. Whoop, whoop. All right, Sugar Sand City. I've done my Baja training. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so the difference with this sand and Baja sand is this sand is so fine. It sticks to your tires, so it kind of covers up all your treads, and then it's like you're riding a bald tire. Yeah! Go get them! the three best friends that anyone could have. We're the three best friends that anyone could have. <laughs> uh, Rolling in the sand. That's right, Walt and I were just talking about how bike packing is really, a lot of times, a solitary sport. And this is just so fun to have people all around us. You feel safer, you feel the camaraderie. Yeah. You're cracking jokes, you're having fun. When did you get into bike packing? Uh, three years ago. Okay. Started doing small, really fast, one day events. And then, so uh, I guess in the last two years, started getting into a few more multi-day events. So, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, man. I do not like doing them by myself <laughs> at all. But, so, thank you, Ryan, for letting me hang out with you for a couple of days. Of course, man, that's why I'm here. I want to hang out with people. I'm usually by myself in the woods, crying. <laughs> this is usually where I am when I'm alone too in the woods, just crying. <laughs> Wondering why the heck I'm out here, why I'm not home. Looking good. Here we go. 
Now we're getting swampy. Swampy, look at that. Oh, oh. Yeah. It's still working, it, it takes a licking. You still here? Cool. <laughs> we're back. We're back online, everybody. What, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's swampy, look. Woo! Jacket time. Jacket Number time. 17. Yeah, we're taking them on and off, but now it, this is the big old fat rain. <laughs> How you feeling there, Brett? A little wet. It's all good? It's all good. It used to be in wet here though, you know, it's, it's Florida. It's Florida. Even when it's not raining, you're wet because it's humid. <laughs> There you go, get muddy. It's just a little bit rainy. And it's not cold rain, luckily. I like that sound of the rain. Whew. Now these trees are cool. I am falling in love with these spooky Florida trees, especially on a day like today. This is awesome. We are truly in the swamp now. There's water on both sides. Brett said sometimes there'd be alligators out there on a warm day, sunning. Today they're inside, inside their cozy alligator houses. <laughs> Limbo it. Limbo. I will, yeah. I, will love you. Oh, I love this. Even on a rainy day, this is really fun to be out here experiencing a totally new ecosystem. Yup. We're getting hit with the red rain that hiker warned me about this morning. <laughs> yeah. But like I said earlier, really grateful that it's not cold. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but there is blue sky. We're heading right for it. There it is, guys. Woo! Woo! Yeah. We have found a little bit of shelter, yay. yay! And my buddy over here, Walt, because he's a southern boy, he says this is called a skin and shed. This is where hunters take their deer to uh, skin them, right? But this is where I'm just gonna eat a gas station egg McMuffin. And what's your uh, gourmet lunch? I have a sun-warmed Pop-Tart. I just gotta let it sit here for a few minutes. And... Yeah, look at that, the sun's coming out. Oh yeah, check out those legs and those socks. Looking sloppy. Yeah. Life just changed dramatically. The sun is out, we got blue skies. It's like it never rained. So we just took our jackets off. Thinking the sun's out. Now the clouds are back. <laughs> Woo! Man, we are dirty. Look at this. Look at us. What did we do to ourselves? Riding dirty, baby. Riding dirty. And look at your, your back. My back. Uh, it's a little. It's a little muddy. You see, you have this thing here called an ass saver. 
little fender. I'm not sure it's doing much. I don't think it's doing anything at all. <laughs> How's the duck? Got a little dirt, but he's still in good spirits. Yeah. yeah. Rubber duckies, they thrive in these situations. Oh, yeah. So explain to me this what you're doing here. This, uh, this is called Pinion Envy. Yeah. Pinion Envy. And Gates is, Carbon Drive. And this oh. is... Listen to how crunchy that is. I'm actually doing nothing but making myself feel better. Because <laughs> it's definitely not making my bike feel any better. I remember doing this back in the day. Yeah, we're getting dirty out here, there's no doubt. Little bit dirty. My drivetrain is happy as can be. This is where it shines. Doo -doo. Walt is mostly jealous of my kickstand. <laughs> I am very. More than anything else. More than anything else, I have kickstand envy, for sure. <laughs> you see, you have to sit there and hold your bike. Mine is just sitting right there, no problem. It's perfectly parked. Oh, it's gonna get wet again. We're going through the Palmetto Palms right now, and it's just so cool. I love it. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. We're in the chunky stuff, but we're cool with it. Right, Walt? We're good. We're, we're all good. We're all good. Whoa, whoa. One little, hit, hit, little bouncy. Hit, like Woo! What is this? Some Huracan Trail Magic from Mr. Rick Holly. Right on. All right, thank you, Rick. Pull some water and bug spray. There's a bivy in there, a couple of bivvies. Very prophetic. Thank you. So we're on a nice, smooth patch of dirt, and it, I think it's time to get to know Brett better. Brett, how did you even get into bike packing? Kind of by accident. We were. We were kind of bored and, you know, COVID had just hit and we had nothing to do and we stumbled across the, uh, your Great Divide series. We looked at that and said, huh, we, we can do that. One of my close friends uh, had this idea to ride to Key West and so we put it together. We binge watched a million videos, got it organized and got on our bikes and rode to Key West. <laughs> what do you love most about it? I love the freedom. No one's bugging me right now. It's, Nothing but a couple of guys, a couple of bikes, and open road. I am the only one bugging him. This is indeed a spooky cabin. Looks like we've got some homes for scary wasps and things. Wow, I can't imagine living here somewhere so isolated and small. So Brett took us a little bit off route to see the murder cabin. <laughs> I'm not usually into uh, morbid things, but it's historical. There's actually a historical marker. I'm gonna go read it right now. Here's the graveyard. It's the Stewart Homestead. Mr. and Mrs. Stewart ax murdered together in their home. They died on May 9th, 1918, born 1860. Rest in peace. It may have been lonely to live out here, but certainly beautiful. Imagine living with your sweetheart and having this outside your door. That's kind of romantic. You get to focus on each other a lot. You don't have the distractions of everyday life.
So Brett just said he's super hungry and he's sick of the energy bars and that he had a secret weapon. I'm like, what's that, buddy? Dun da 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 da! Oh, yeah, you know oh, it. Oh, what? You know it. You We're brought going. some beans? We're going all in. How about you, Walt? I'm in. All right. You mm. put enough beans in there? No, no such thing. Mm. You're always going sideways, mm. sitting in sideways style. All right, my brothers. Burrito cheers. Burrito time. Da da! <laughs> mm. Yeah, we've been working hard today. Even though Florida's flat. It's hard to get around. <laughs> pedal, pedal, pedal. Yes. So how was it, man? Man, it was good. Yeah? Sitting on the side of the road here in Florida eating a dozerito. <laughs> Are you gonna start carrying beans and tortillas? Maybe, we'll see you in an hour. I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Found the schlop again. <laughs> I kind of like this schlop. This is some rideable schlop. We are officially out of green swamp. Thank you, beautiful swamp. I haven't spent a lot of time in swamps being a Colorado guy, so that was pretty cool. We're on the Van Fleet Trail now. It's paved. We're fairly close to camp tonight. Life is good, right? Life yeah. is good. Life is good. We are only a mile away from camp, but we looked on the radar and there's something gnarly coming through. So we're hiding at this church until it passes by. We are so close! Woo! Okie dokie. We've waited long enough. We are tired, we want to be done. Oh yeah. We are home for the night and Brett was smart enough two months ago booked a room in the hostel at this campground. So we're staying tonight at an old lodge in an airfield and they've converted a lot of the hangars to rooms, like dorm style rooms. Brett, we did it. Made it to Willow Tree. Boom, way to go. Oh my God, it's Tim from Ragbri. Hey. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, hooking all this up. No problem. Happy to have you guys here. We've been talking forever about getting you here. We never thought you actually would, and then you show up. Here I am. Walt, way to go. We did it. We did it. You're running away because you know I was going to film you, don't, don't you? Hey, don't you run away, Carlos. Don't you run away. I want to give you a high five, too. Thank you for everything. We love you. I can't believe it. This place even has my favorite video game ever, Galaga. I used to go to this pizza place near me in Boulder and play it every week and I still love it. It's really the only video game I love. And we have a pinball machine. Brett is in heaven. Oh yeah. I can't well, believe it. Like this place is awesome. Up. I've got some happy feet. Good night, Brett. Man, good night, Ryan. Ride again tomorrow. So you found a bigger one? You found the biggest one? We found a bigger one. We found Godzilla. Where is he? Oh yeah, wow. Look at that guy. Sweet. First ride with my kids here. Hey, get close to him. Hello, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that video. There's a lot more to come from Florida. I loved my experience down there. So hey, if you enjoy my videos and they're bringing value into your life, please consider joining my Patreon. For just a little bit of money a month, you can choose how much. You'll get early release videos with no ads. You will have direct access to write back and forth with me about whatever is on your mind. And sometimes I do these fun Zoom chats with my patrons and it's just a fun way to, to connect with my community over there. If you don't wanna do that, that is A-OK. -okay. My videos will always be free on YouTube. You're just gonna have to deal with the annoying ads. Also, I have some merch for sale. Check these out. These are made 
In conjunction with my friends at Priority Bicycles, they are 100% organic cotton made in the USA. And with all of my merch sales, we donate all of the profits to amazing nonprofits doing good things to get people on bikes. So you buy this shirt, your money is going to the dream team in Iowa to get kids on bikes so that they can participate in RAGBRAI. If you already have enough t-shirts, well, hey, you can never have too many socks. <laughs> You've probably seen these in my videos, so I'll take them off for you. These are my Ole socks, and they actually say, get out there along the foot of the sock. And if you flip it up here, it even has my name in there, which is kind of neat. These Olay socks are made by my friends at Point Six here in Steamboat, Colorado. They are merino wool, so they don't stink like a lot of those polyester stretchy materials. And all of the proceeds from these are going to bike packing roots. I will link down below where you can buy all my merch and even my book. And my book is now an ebook now. And so many things to buy and you don't have to buy any of it if you don't want and you don't have to join my patreon if you don't want but you will be supporting this channel and keeping it moving forward Whew. okay thanks for watching bye <laughs>